Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error when you're trying to work in disk management and it's coming across as that there is not enough space available on the disk to complete this operation. So perhaps you're trying to create a new partition or extend a volume that's already existing within disk management, and you're coming across this partition limit, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle here. So if you're looking to hopefully resolve the problem here, we're going to just jump into it and first thing I would suggest make sure all your hard disks are properly hooked up and installed inside your computer. So if you have an external drive that you just hooked up or you have a new expansion bay that you just put in a new hard drive, make sure all your connections are nice and tight. You know, if there's a loose connection, there's a very good chance that it's not actually able to detect it. So just keep that in mind. It's always worth a shot just to go ahead and just double check your work. And then once you're done with that, I would suggest opening up disk management. So open up star menu. I'm going to type in disk management here. Best match, create and format hard disk partitions. This should be pretty universal across Windows 7 through Windows 10 devices. So it should be pretty consistent. And once we have disk management open here, you want to go ahead and left click on the action tab up at the top, and then left click where it says rescan disk. So it's going to say disk rescan in progress, please wait. Shouldn't take very long, and then hopefully if you had a disk in here that was creating this issue for you, so hopefully at this point it would be able to recognize if you actually made any actions to your disk. So if there was something that was being caught up on, then go ahead, once you've rescanned, go ahead and try whatever action you were having the issue with before and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. You can also use different third party applications as well so I don't really want to recommend any one in particular. I would always suggest using free ones so that's pretty much it guys. do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.